<clears throat> now for question 10 you are told to show that the solution of or the general solution of this differential equation here is actually this the question says show that a one parameter solution so one parameter just simply means that your solution contains just a single arbitrary constant which is going to serve as a parameter for the general solution anyway so you're told to show that the general solution of this differential equation is is this the general solution i suppose so now like based on the format in which this is written i would assume that it's most likely going to be an exact equation but then to not doubt anything let me check or confirm if it is actually an exact equation so i'm going to start by comparing this like we've been doing past with the general form that is m dx plus n dy equals zero so we have m and n are functions of x and y and then a criterion for a general exact or a general differential equation of this format written like this to be an exact equation is that it must satisfy this criterion the m dy must be equal to a partial derivative of n with respect to x so this is what it must satisfy so comparing this so this is my m while this is my n y because this is the x this is the x this is the y and this is the y so let's use what we have now since my m is this so i have my m to be 4 x y plus 3x squared and my n to be 2y plus 2x squared so taking the partial derivative of m with respect to y simply means we treat n as a um, x as a constant so you're gonna have 4x and then this goes to zero and here too taking the partial derivative of n we respect this is this is so you, sh you shouldn't get confused this is just this is the partial derivative not two eh? so it's just uh, the partial derivative of n with respect to x so this is with respect to x and then this is you treat y as a constant and then this is a um, with respect to x of 2x squared that's going to be 4x so what you observe is my 4x here equals my 4x here so it implies that the partial derivative of m with respect to y equals the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So which actually implies that this is an exact equation. It is exact. So this is an exact equation. Now, since it is an exact equation, it simply implies that the left hand side which is what we have here I'm going to go over all I said again it implies that all we have here is an exact differential so for it to be an exact differential it actually implies that it is the differential of a function that is a function df when you find the differential it is going to give you what you have here so that is 4xy plus 3x squared dx and plus 2y plus 2x squared dy but then ordinarily finding the differential of a function a function which is a function of x and y is going to give us this is the general formula that is the partial derivative of f respect to x dx plus the partial derivative of f respect to y dy so looking at this i mean this must be equal to this and then this must be equal to this so let's rewrite that we we'll have so this implies from these two equations it implies that a partial derivative of f respect to x must be 4xy plus 3x squared and the partial derivative of f respect to y must be 2y plus 3x 
plus plus 2 x squared so I'm actually going to call this let me call this equation 1 and I'm going to call this equation 2 so like we've seen so far you could start with any of them you still get you get the same answer so our aim is to find the function f so I'm going to start with equation equation 1 so equation 1 says that that is what we have here it says the partial derivative of f with respect to x equals 4xy plus 3x squared so to find f we integrate both sides with respect to x 4xy plus 3x squared dx and then this is going to give us so when integrate so it simply implies you have to take all y terms or y variables as constant you treat them as constants so this is going to be um, 2x squared y plus x cubed and then since all y terms are treated as constant so uh, I'll try constant here it's going to be a function of y so I'm going to call it h of y this time around h of y so it implies that the function function f equals this now since f must satisfy these two conditions if it satisfies this condition f must be this now for it to satisfy this condition it simply implies that when i take the partial derivative with respect to y whatever i get must actually conform or must be equal to what i have here so let me find the partial derivative with respect to y so with respect to y you have 2x squared and this one goes to 0 plus h prime of y now this must be equal to what I have here which is 2y plus 2x squared so this is 2x squared 2x squared is here and this is 2x squared here so it simply implies that h prime of y must be 2y so h prime of y must be 2y for f to satisfy both conditions so if h prime of y is 2y so this implies that our h of y is actually the integral of this with respect to y and that's going to give us y squared now you're meant to put an arbitrary constant plus c but it doesn't really matter because the solution we expect to obtain is f of x y equals c so it has been included the constant which you meant to put here has been included in the solution so it's okay when you have your h of y to just be to be y squared so now since our h of y is y squared then this simply implies that the general solution of of this differential equation is going to be based on what we have here now we have f equals 2x squared y which is what you have here plus x cube then plus h of y the h of y we got is y squared so this is the function this is the function of x and y this is the, this is the f that we found now now the general solution sorry see i think I, I said it wrongly the other time the general solution is going to be the function the function f plus x cubed plus y squared equals c this is the general solution so many a times students might make the mistake like i almost made right now um, of thinking f equals this is the general solution no this 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 is not is not the general solution it's not a general solution what is the general solution is this it is f of x y equals equals c so that's for part a that's the general solution of the differential equation